Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And this is Cherish the Journey. So today, we're going to be talking about our camper. We're going to take you on a tour of our rig, so let's go. All right. Hey guys, this is inside our rig. This over here is our bed. We have some storage up here. There's nothing really exciting up there to see. So I don't really feel like I need to open those. <laughs> over here is our table, which also turns into a couch slash bed. So sometimes when we're camping, we don't leave it as a table. We will actually put this table down that way we feel more relaxed and we can lay out a little more while we're watching TV. Uh, sometimes we do keep it as a table so we can sit and eat and just sit and maybe play games. Sometimes it is comfortable to just sit here and watch TV if we keep our pillows behind our back. This over here is our kitchen. Um, we've done some upgrades in our kitchen, which we'll show you pictures of in this video. This is our backsplash, which is really nice. We actually installed this paper towel holder, which is one of my favorite things. We switched from making coffee on the stove to this very fancy coffee maker, which is my new favorite thing in our kitchen. Um, obviously stove, oven, which we don't use a lot, microwave, which we only use when we are at full hookup campsites. We don't use it when we're dry camping just because we don't really feel a need to use it. Under here is our kitchen storage, pots, pans, silverware, spices, except we have this spice rack when we're camping that we put all of our spices on, as you can see, and it's very convenient for me when I'm over here cutting up food and getting things ready just to reach over here and grab our spices. This is some more storage. This is where Daniel has put our DVD player, our DVDs, and just a few other miscellaneous electronic things. Now, if you come over here above our table, we have more storage. Um, this part right here actually is storage. I know in some campers, there would be like a wood wall in here, um, but both doors obviously open up and then it goes all the way through for storage. It's not just these two doors that have storage. All right, so guys, I'm gonna show you a little bit some of the things that I've done to help improve our camper. Uh, like Jennifer said, we got this TV up. It was a spare TV that we had. So just a little swing arm, real easy, real basic. Um, like she said, we got our Blu-ray and just miscellaneous lights and I call it Entertainment Central. So, so I put in a fantastic fan and it was really nice because before it was just one of those ones that you crank up and there's no fan even in here so what we had we wanted some ventilation coming through here so what I had to do to power it up was once I pulled everything apart there's actually a, a little space where I could bring all the wires I had to pull this light down and then I could tie the light it tie the wires into the light so if these are off or on doesn't matter because there was a constant power line that goes to these so that way I didn't have to constantly have the lights on to run the fan which is awesome and I can show you exactly if you want to do something like that I can show you how it's done so other than that um, what about the lights what did we do to the lights oh yeah and then the lights um, we also 
switched them from incandescent, the round bulbs, to LEDs. Huge, huge savings on your battery because especially if you don't have solar, if you're just on one deep cycle battery like we are, it really helps save your battery because you can go, I mean, <coughs> we've had tons of lights on and we've had plenty of power for at least two days. Um, and that's deep cycle batteries. You really don't want to go down past 50%, which we try not to. We've done it, but it's it just shortens your life cycle of your batteries. And that'll be another topic that we'll talk about as well. So be looking for that video. So another thing, guys, that we did was the thermostat here. It had the old little manual lever that you kind of slide across and slide back and those don't accurately tell you what the temperature is it doesn't have a little digital readout we were baking ourselves in here pretty much because we didn't know exactly where that temperature was so this is a lot better because you can hit the heat set your temperature whatever you want and it's perfect you just live in comfort while we're out and it's awesome but we actually don't really use that much unless we're boondocking because if we're at hookups we found that a little space heater the ceramic space heaters are way better they're a lot quieter and it does the same job so little pro tip there for you so if you are at a hookup site and you don't want to use your furnace and use up your propane get a space here this over here is the bunks which we don't use a lot but sometimes when people stay with us obviously we do use these this camper did not come with um, a ladder so I don't get up here and people that stay with us don't get up here either because as you can see, it's really difficult. I don't even know how, how you would get up here and I'm not going to try to do it because I would look like a fool. So we're just going to say this is used for our storage when we're camping. Uh, we put extra chairs up here that we're not using. Sometimes we put our suitcase up here if somebody is going to stay with us so that way they can sleep down here if they don't want us to pull, put the table down for a couch. Um, this is our fridge. <clears throat> Not a lot of space, but enough space when we're camping just for a weekend or even for a week. Um, it fits all of our food and sometimes I have to play Tetris with getting our food in here, but it always works out. Um, and a freezer is a pretty good size as well. We can fit stuff here, obviously, if you wanted to. I don't even know what you would put here because it looks like a can thing and you're not going to put cans of anything, I wouldn't think, in the freezer, but you never know. Um, and then we have all this space here. And last but not least is our bathroom. Um, we actually have a couple of renovations that we've done in here as well. So while we're in here, we'll show you that. As you can see, it's kind of small, um, but it works for us. Toilet, um, this is brand new. We bought this and installed this when we were doing renovations. Obviously, as you could see on the other side where the bed is, that renovations are still happening. We're hoping to finish those soon. Um, but as you can see, it's nice for us to have this shelf. That way we don't feel like we're living out of a container um, because that's what our toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, all of that goes in. Um, is a container and when we didn't have this we were just pulling it out of there now that we have this it's a lot nicer for us um, and then Daniel installed this over here just kind of for our soap our shampoo and our loofahs so as you can see our camper's not big but it has been very good to us we've made a lot of great memories in it and we can we hope to continue to make great memories in it for a little while um, so I think that concludes our tour today because as you can see our rig isn't big it's small so there's not much to show you 